Marvel have a track record of making terrible and generic villains. They had a couple of good ones, but then they started sinking right back to their old ways. And I'm sad to say that they seem to have done the same thing to their big villains, their Thanos level villains if you will. We all know the story with Kang and what a wasted opportunity he was, but I want to mostly talk about what they did to Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, a villain that was practically gift wrapped for them from Netflix and became one of the most beloved Marvel villains of all time. And you won't believe believe what Marvel did to him in Echo. I mean, when Grandma gets powers, look at his face. This is not the look you put on the face of Marvel's best villain. And then they follow it up with this. And why is Kingpin scared? Because isn't this MCU Kingpin supposed to have super strength? In Hawkeye, he survived an explosion, a car being slammed into him, and a bullet to the eye. But this scares him and turns him into a wimp. What the hell is going on here? And for an R-rated show, the stakes are absolutely minuscule. If they were true to their stance on making this an R rating, then Kingpin would have absolutely exploded for Echo leaving him. And Echo's family would have gotten brutally killed right in front of her. But he is just reduced to a bitch and gets dealt with like he is one of the most incompetent villains ever. I don't buy for a second that this Kingpin could fight Daredevil if this old lady scares him. And to make things worse, Kingpin doesn't even get to fight. Look at that, how pathetic. And then the Kingpin leaves and starts wailing and crying like a baby. What did you do? This was one hell of a cheap and rushed ending, like pretty much all of the MCU shows. Only this just made the Kingpin look weak and also like a bitch. And that Kingpin credit scene, that was such a lazy and forced way of setting up Daredevil Born Again. Most voters want somebody who is a fighter. A bare knuckled brawler would do well in this race. An outsider, somebody who is not afraid to take on the establishment. Is that candidate even out there? I can't believe they actually said we need a bare knuckled fighter, someone who's an outsider. How on the nose could you get? They might as well have described even more of Kingpin's character traits. Someone who's got a big bald head, someone who killed his father with a hammer, and also has a wife called Vanessa. Is that candidate even out there? If this is the kind of subtlety we can expect in the MCU's Daredevil show, then we are f I actually think that we would have been better served if we didn't get this show and just got the next season of Daredevil with Kingpin reprising his role. But doing it this way, it just didn't work. And after seeing this show, I don't think they should even attempt the Daredevil show. And it's clear that they don't know how to use the R rating. This show's story could have been a PG-13 easily and nothing would have changed. And Daredevil needs a mature R rated story with intelligent writing, just like his Netflix shows. But he sure as heck won't get that from the MCU. My uh, ass remains unwhooped. I mean seriously, Grandma turns into the Grandma from Blue Beetle, except that was intended to be a more kid-friendly movie, and this is supposed to be the R-rated show. What the hell are they playing at? They ruined Kingpin's character and turned him into a bitch. I mean, he was practically like, WHAT DID YOU DO?! WHAT HAVE YOU DONE TO ME?! LOOK AT ME! I'M AN ANCHOVY! <gasps> Leave it to Marvel to turn him into a generic MCU villain, and then he runs away like a little girl. WHAT HAVE YOU DONE TO ME?! LOOK AT ME! I'M AN ANCHOVY! <gasps> He didn't even land a single punch in the climax. That's how rushed it was. And I would actually go as far as to say that Marvel ruined his character here. I can't look at him the same way anymore going forward. Look at him running away like a bitch over there. It was rumored that Disney considered shelving the show with a tax write-off like Warner Brothers did to Batgirl. But then the writer's strike happened and they were short on content, so they just decided to release it. Hence, they dumped it all on day one so those who wanted to watch it could watch it and then never speak of it again. And let me ask you, What's the biggest thing that Kingpin himself has done in the MCU? He beat up an ice cream man, and that's it. Prior to that, he got his ass handed to him by Kate Bishop, who was a novice and a newbie. He got a car rammed into him by Kate Bishop's mother. He got shot in the eye by Echo, 
and he didn't land a single punch, got scared of Echo's granny, and ran away like a bitch when Echo took his bending away or whatever. It's our first TVMA. We didn't have to pull any punches throughout the whole show. Kingpin has been in two MCU shows, and Kevin Feige has not done anything with him. If anything, they've ruined him and stripped him of his dignity. And now there's talk that they want him to be the new street-level Thanos. If they have these big plans for him, then why are they turning him into a bitch? Because who wants this wimpy, disnified Kingpin as a big MCU villain? I would have liked the Netflix version as a big villain, but not this childish version. Seriously, what the fuck is Kevin Feige doing? He wants Kang to be the big intimidating villain of the MCU, and he gets beat by Ant-Man. <laughs> and takes it like a bitch. He wants Kingpin to be the big villain of the street level heroes, and he gets beat by Kate Bishop and Echo. And again, like a bitch. Feige supposedly has big plans for these villains, and yet he constantly ruins them in their debut. He deprives them of their dignity, and audiences no longer fear them or see them as a threat. And if these villains can't even handle basic D-list superheroes, then how on earth are they going to handle themselves against the freaking Avengers, or X-Men, or Spider-Man? I think Kevin Feige has completely lost his marbles. He really needs to just get the hell out, because he is single-handedly destroying these villains, one of which was already set up and gift-wrapped for him. Do you seriously think that with this track record that he is going to do a good job with Doctor Doom? Any chance that the MCU has of being put on the right track with these bright spots, Kevin Feige is systematically taking them down and destroying them. And I think they should either reboot the entire MCU or just put it out of its misery. What a freaking disgrace of a show. Comment below with your thoughts on this matter, and check out my Patreon for some amazing perks, some of which are extremely limited, so you better get in there fast. If you can't, then that's quite alright. If you can instead give this video a like and a share, that will go a long way towards expanding my channel and reaching new viewers. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you can stay up to date with all future videos. Thank you very much for watching another video everyone, and I will catch all of you very soon. Take care.